started here. Make sure we are all lined up. Are we all lined up here? Also, just because I kind of want to. Uh, looks like we are indeed all lined up. So, let me make sure I've got audio here. Oh, let me make sure. I do indeed. So, hello, hello, people of the internet. It is I, Solar Act Dragon, here, back with more Fate Grand Order, where today we should be finishing off Saber Wars 2. Before that, though, I've decided I want to show, I want to throw a single 11 spin at XA. She is, after all, in the waifu tiers, so she does deserve to be rolled upon if her banner is here. So, we're going to throw a single 11 spin at XA, and then we are going to continue slash finish the story that is Saber Wars 2. Getting her to NP3 would be quite nice, to be honest. Quite nice indeed. I'm not going to hold my breath for it, but, you know, you never know until you try. Never do. Plus, I could get Yagyu, you know, and he's he's a cool dude, I suppose. Nothing wrong with Yagyu. Nothing wrong with him. I still need to add Jane to my uh, level up order thing. I'm lazy. I am very, very lazy. Oh man, I also gotta see about making a proper thumbnail for Saber Wars too, because I kind of want to do that. To you know, want to get back into the thumbnails. Rather than just making them for the uh, Lost Belt chapters, I kind of want to, you know, get to work on making proper thumbnails. Or at least learning how, you know. Every little bit of knowledge would help. Every little sprinkling of knowledge to help me out. With what exactly, I'm not particularly sure, but yeah, it is what it is. Another one of the um, red bean paste princesses would be nice as well, I suppose. I'm not even keeping count. <laughs> I'm bad. But it's not a mineral, because I know we've got covering fire and we just got that rock planet thing. So, it's not a mineral. For what it matters. Which isn't that much, mind you. Because again, this is just sort of a YOLO roll. XA is on right up. May as well try at least once, you know? Right, that has to be nearing the end. And it is. Okay. Yep, the YOLO roll was nothing. Oh well. So, back to the terminal. And then I did do that free quest to get the CE. Um, didn't show it because I kind of forgot about it on Friday. And... Uh, by the time I recognized it again, it was Sunday, and I really didn't want to, you know, just record me doing it. It wasn't like there was any story or anything. It was just a few battles, so it was nothing. Uh, login. Login. 1300 day login. Login, and... Alright, there we go. There we go, there we go. So, I will jump here, and before we get to Origin Universe... It is time to claim some mission rewards. So, 40 ruffian types gets us 5 black beast griefs. 60 enemies with the heaven attribute gets us 150 artorium. And 80 enemies with heaven attribute gets us 5 primordial no goose. 100 demonic enemies gets us 5 more black beast griefs. 20 lawful servants gets us 5 TOB. 15 servants with luck A or higher gets us 1 code remover. 20 servants with luck A or higher gets us 5 secret gems of the assassin. 20 kings gets us 20 gets us 5 closet playouts. 20 would be wild. 5 training planet seltant. Seltant. However you pronounce that. Quest gets us 5 deadly poisonous needles. 5 illusory planet caribbean gets us 5 evil bones. And 5 wandering planet alton quests gets us 5 sticks with wailing knight. So our in-progress quests that aren't the bounty ones are 100 Assassin or Berserker, 5 Zenjo, 5 Dark Mana, 5 Secret Castle Gisette, and all missions. So, I know we're going to be doing a fair bit of bounties soon, but um, yeah, let's not focus on that right now. Claim 
these fragments real quick. And the Origin Universe calls. 800 Artorium, go to the beginning of space. <laughs> Hey, title drop. So you say your noble phantasm's true nature lies in the ability to perceive truth. And that's right, well, strictly speaking, it's the it lies in the ability to see an opponent's cards, and from there, their true intentions. If I can find the hidden weakness and make it reality, no matter how much they might outclass me, of course, it doesn't actually make me any stronger, nor does it give me any special ability to defeat that opponent. So it isn't much use to me alone. It only creates an opportunity for someone else, just like a good scout should. Still, now I'm proud to have this noble phantasm. Uh, it gives us a real shout-out to feed on her. She may be beyond our understanding, and normally we may not be even be a match for her. But thanks to my noble phantasm, I can tell all the others what they need to do to beat her. Setting aside that we don't yet know if we're capable to pull off whatever that might be. There's no need for such modesty, my friend. Your noble phantasm is a tremendous asset. Normally fighting an enemy's weak point is something that takes years of experience and countless battles. So that is the idealization of Calamity Jane's No Phantasm. To find a weak find your opponent's weak point. Or the vital point. I'm kind of wondering if Akira Toriyama of Dragon Ball Super is a fate fan. You know, considering his most recent antagonist, I guess. <laughs> But you can find it even in an opponent you've never fought before. Or in an opponent that all of a certain kind has never once successfully defeated. Like a lone star piercing the veil of darkness. You really think so? Oh man, you're gonna make me blush. Okay, then the combo noble phantasm planet is. So what should we call it? Mm, let's see, you shine the light on the target while I open fire on it. So, got it. What have you called this dual noble phantasm strategy? Star for card. <laughs> that sounds awesome. We've gotta go with that. Just you wait, I promise I'm gonna pull this off. <laughs> and we know she did. This can't be not can't, this can't be right. I know we destroyed her spear core. Does this mean that's not enough to stop her? I'm afraid my spear origin is crumbling. Archer, there's no need for both of us to die. Go on, save yourself. That thing is beyond any servant's ability to defeat. We need a much bigger weapon. No way, I might just be a scout, but I can still save your life. Come on, Siggy. You and I are getting out of here together. There's no need to escape. My spirit origin is shattered. You two have won this battle. Heroes brave enough to vanquish a god deserve to be rewarded. So a reward you shall have. Rejoice. From now until the day I awaken once again, neither of you will be permitted to die. Ooh. Instead, you will wander for an eternity in your frail human bodies. Wait. Human... But I don't think Sigurd and Jane are humans. They're servants. Okay, the whole universe is rumbling. I don't know what for soon, but it sure feels like the primordial goddess is about to wake up. It's all red. This is the origin universe. Maybe the single most dangerous of all the many forbidden zones. The, sing the shining blue galaxy we come from looks blue to us because it's permeated with more ether than dark matter. But that wasn't the case in the origin universe. The origin universe was around 5 billion years ago. Way before the shining blue galaxy existed. The origin universe, that's the universe from before ours, right? The one where Master still existed. Does this mean part of that does this mean part of that is still around now? I don't know how it works, but yeah, that's right. And there's a shrine the shrine devoted to the primordial goddess just up ahead. It's the place, the place where the primordial goddess is said to originate from in the goddess scriptures, the ancient shrine Belmana. If that's where the two sp spacing Kage Ryu people went, they must be really serious about bringing her back. And there's nothing anyone can do to stop her if they succeed. The legend my original self wanted revenge on all servant kind, right? I wonder why she felt that way. She said it was just the way of things. I can still remember her exact words. I care nothing for this new universe. I love not but my own world, and shall have vengeance on those who took it from me. Gotcha. Hmm. So... She survived the big reset, but she's not responsible for it. Okay. Well, we got no problem picking a fight with her. Why? Oh, come on. We couldn't be more different if we tried. If I empathize with this goddess position even a little, I might have a second thoughts. But if she's going to be all like, I care nothing for this new universe, then nope. I mean, I love new things in all shapes and sizes, especially entertainment and luxury. 
There's no way I'm gonna let some badass words self of mine roll and clock back all the way to ancient times. Well said, Ishtarin. Now that's what I call pioneer spirit. Never mind that, Jane. Just taste the thing you're trying already. You've been there once before, right? You have any idea where we might find the space Shinkagi Ryu guys there? Also, does that mean Sigurd is alive? <laughs> and he's just floating in space. I bet they'll be at the Goddess Resurrection Altar. Hang on tight, I'll get this there as fast as the mana can go. He must be, I guess. <laughs> you don't just shrug off the curse of a primordial being. More mysterious substance. <laughs> Primitive Red Rose. Uh, it's a saber. Is there any loot drops here? No, there is not. Um... You know what, let's go Ishtar, and we're just going to keep with the squad. It's not really served me badly here. Um, except, you know, we're, we're just going to switch things up just a little bit. Sorry, Ishtar, but I kind of want XA to take out anything that she can. Maybe, you know, draw her special cutscene out, perhaps. <laughs> Never thought I would have to resort to this altar. How unfortunate that only the trivial matters went smoothly, while my true desire meant to first, remained frustratingly out of reach. I can't move, Mononori. What is this place? Ah, so you've awoken, my goddess. This is the altar where the primordial goddess fell into deep slumber, the holy ground of the ancient shrine, Belmana. On this altar, your body will serve as a catalyst with which to awaken the primordial goddess. That is to say, you'll be sacrificed. I see, so instead of making me into the perfect goddess, you're gonna offer me up to her. Before I go, just let me ask you this. Why did you raise me? You said yourself that Ishtar was a better match for the primordial goddess. So if you knew that all along, why didn't you take her instead of me? Given how matters have unfolded, yes, perhaps that would have been a more prudent course of action. She would have even been a better evil commander than you, as, I took mu as you took it much more seriously than you should have. But none of that matters now. We discovered you in Tokiomi's house when you were still an infant, an infant that had been sealed away to ensure you would never awaken. There was something stern and ill-tempered about your expression that told me you had the potential to be a fine sword fighter. I have grown sentimental in my old age, and it was that sentimentality that made me choosing you. Now that your skills have exceeded mine, I know that I was chose right. Compared to the joy of seeing you surpass me, nothing else matters. I see. Thank you, Minanori. Also, he does see her as a daughter figure. Still gonna sacrifice her, though. I laugh of the gods that humans rejected. I have that reincarnated as a human to try and reach an understanding with them, only to be told I had no place in their world. But you, Minanori, have served me well, so you are now free to do with me as you wish. I am just sorry that I couldn't live to your hopes for me. Now then, it would seem the end is close at hand. Wouldn't you agree, Master Slash Catalyst? Hey, Draconic. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Happy things, happy things. Now then. It would seem the end is close at hand. Wouldn't you agree, Master slash Catalyst? Ashtart! Yeah, the other has been laid out on the altar. Does that mean you're going to sacrifice her? I thought that was soul jobs. Soul's job. It was on the dark manor, but here in this ancient shrine, Lady Ashtart is a better fit. I was hoping she could obtain the primordial goddess's power for herself. But now that a master and the goddess's good and evil halves are all gathered at this shrine, there is no stopping what comes next. 2,000 years ago, the primordial goddess Ashtar Origin was resurrected and defeated on this very spot. Now she will be resurrected once again and using Lady Ashtar as her spirit core. Next, Ashtar Origin will absorb Ishtar, her remaining half, and Master will become the keystone, keeping her materialized. Hey, nice! Nice, good job for you, good job for you for getting the shout out. What, what, what kind of Duel Links content were you streaming? Were you, was there a tournament going on or something? <laughs> I can hope for no better subordinate than Primordial Goddess with our commander at her core. There is no stopping your resurrection now. Your only choice is to run to the far corners of the galaxy, or... Ah, he's finally been added. Fair. And I'm guessing you are rushing to get the DDDs if they are available? 
Or we kick your ass and drag Ashard off the altar before that can happen, right? Very well, I was getting tired of my usual, or your blood will serve to wet my blade spiel anyways. Nice. I mean... Are the DDDs really, truly demons, though? If there, are dif if there are demons from a different dimension, then that means they're the demons of that dimension. They don't necessarily mean they're demons in this dimension, though. Come then, I have at you. I will use my space Shin Kage Ryu to unite you with your father. Regan, you old bastard. What would I like to see that your irredeemable scum back to the end? I wouldn't say he's irredeemable. He clearly somewhat a little bit cares for Ashtart, you know? Just just a little bit. You know, it's, it's a little complicated. Let's be honest, it's a little complicated. Oh, looky, looky, Munanori, you don't have a break bar. Oh, woe is you, Minonori. Oh, woe is you. Prepare to face my might of the best Sith Lord in all of canonical existence. I think that is a very fair statement, by the way, that Xa is indeed the very best Sith Lord that there has ever been. I cannot name a better Sith Lord than her. And that doesn't have anything to do with the fact that I am not aware of too many Sith Lords either. Oh, look at all those buffs. If only I could, I could get another line of buffs, that would be awesome. But I can't. So, XA, smash. And slash. Rather slash. Ooh, doggy. Million points of damage. Chef's kiss, XA. That is the kind of numbers I love to see. Over a million. Gives me hope that we can fulfill our destiny. Primitive Rose, it is an Avenger this time, so we'll have Ashtart take the front line again. With XA, of course. And go! Hey, Jigster, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. How be things, how be things? Hey, J6, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. How be things, how be things? Things are going pretty well for me. I'm a little bit more tired than normal today. Um, the other co-worker that primarily brings patients back was sick, so I got to bring patients back by myself all day long. Um, honestly, looking back at my chat log, you didn't leave me a yo, J6. Yeah, I'm not seeing a yo from you. Until you just said my yo was too big for me to see. Unless you said yo in another way, in which case I'm very clearly just blind. So this is where I meet my end. However, I cannot allow the goddess's blood to lick this altar, no matter how much you may despise me. It might be chat filtering. It might, you know, filter it. It might have considered that spam. Yeah. It might have considered that spam if you put too many of the same letter. Oh, you finished Extra Encore last night, Jakester. How bad was it? Was it as bad as a lot of people were saying? So I will offer up my own life for, the, for my primordial goddess's awakening. I dare say that is quite rocking in its own right. I did it. I finally avenged father, but... It's bad that you don't hate it like some people. Fair. Okay. Well, that's good to know that you don't hate it. You loved watching Umu, though. I'm pretty sure that Umu is one of the main reasons that it was 
that it is seen as any form of favorable because Umu is very popular. Very, very popular indeed. But how many things for you, by the way, J6? You didn't really answer that. You just said you, that I missed your yo. How many things for you? I don't get it. I thought I'd be thrilled about this, but I'm just sad. Come on, Ashrin. I know how you feel right now, but you gotta snap out of it. Look, the altar. In the dub, she's the same voice as Morgana. F oh, God. I can never watch the dub then. Oh, God. I can never watch the dub of Last Encore then, because I'm not going to be able to unsee that now. I'm not going to be able to unsee Nero as Morgana now, Jakester. Why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to me, Jakester? But why are things... If you don't mind me asking, J6, why things be terrible? Just busy or something else along those lines? Uh, t -t -t -t. The altar's swallowing or absorbing? Hmm. I'm gonna say absorbing. Sothis as well? Wait. It's... I can't... It's been a while since I played Three Houses. I... I can't really remember what so this sounds like. But if that's true, then I mean it makes sense a lot of VAs have a lot of have a lot of roles. Yeah, I remember so this. I'm just trying to envision her voice is the thing and I can't really envision it that well. It's been months since I played 3 houses, so mm, a lot of troublesome things tomorrow. That's fair. Troublesome things would make you feel not that great. Nero equals Morgana equals Sothis. Oh, gosh. Now I won't be able to look at Sothis the same. Although, to be fair, I didn't really acknowledge Sothis that much from what I remembered in Three Houses. Yeah, she kind of just leaves, like, before the second act really starts. She really just sort of goes poof. Ooh, court. That's... Never been to court myself, but from what I understand, it is not fun. Damn it, I can't believe I have to save her ass now. So, can you go up there and pull her off the altar? I do it myself, but every bone in my body is screaming at me not to get any closer. Oh, you're not going. Interesting. And you're finishing your golden deer run tonight, Jigster? Very nice, very nice. I have to ask, I have to ask, Jigster... First, what is the best house? And second, what are the who is the best waifu of three houses? For you, I guess. Huh, I can't do it either. It's like something be thing of the words don't interfere right now into my brain. I'm on it. To the rescue, to the rescue, to the rescue, rescue, rescue. Hang in there, I shot. Carrying time. Fireman carry. You carry it in your arms. All right, you're stronger than you look, aren't you? Oh, so you haven't done the Black Eagles then? You haven't done the Black Eagles route just yet? Okay, then I'll. You you don't need to answer that question just yet. Just yet, then. You you don't have to answer that question just yet. You you still got time to get the right answer. Oh, you have. Well, did, did you not? Did you not like that route or something? Someone accused your late grandfather of threatening to kill a certain dog, and that your brother provoked the same dog to aggressively bite a chunk out of his leg and hand. Hmm. I don't think threatening is a crime. don't think threatening was a crime. Yeah, Black Eagles did get a little bit of the shaft, but um, I still liked them. Black Eagles is my favorite route, but again, Jakester, who is the best waifu of three houses? All right, putting that aside, come on, evil me. What do you think you're doing? Wake up already, damn it. You're not just going to roll over and become the primary Ganas, are you? Hmm, she's not opening her eyes. Maybe we should try something a little more direct. A bomb, maybe. That's a good idea if we're trying to finish her off, but no, not now. We'll save it for a last resort. Alright, now let's just get away from the shrine. 
There's no way the primordial goddess can be resurrected if neither of us is here to. Don't bother, it's already too late. Mm. See, see, the right answer there was Edelgard. Jake, sir, Edelgard is the right answer, I feel. <laughs> you know? Edelgard and then Bernadetta. Edelgard and then Bernadetta as second place. You're awake, Ashtart. Yay. I'm like, oh, man, I can stand by myself. I mean, it's not so much I'm a defender, more along the lines of checks a lot of boxes for me, you know? Same thing with Bernadetta. Both of them check a lot of boxes, you know? Plus, you gotta like somebody with ambition. A new... You, wait, you're... There's a gotcha in a VN? That sounds odd. Oh, good. I'm glad to see you're back to your old self. What do you mean by it's too late? Belmana's on its way, which means the primordial goddess has already been resurrected. Belmana's on its way? Now what are you talking about? Are we standing in Belmana? Well, besides the two of us together make up the primordial goddess, right? So if we both just put some distance between us and the shrine... It doesn't work that way. You and I were separate beings from the primordial goddess. While I was sleeping on the altar, I realized the true connection between her body and her soul. The only part of the goddess that's sleeping here is the origin universe is her body. The one servants defeated long ago. You and I are the goddess's heart, her soul, essentially, that she removed from her body before her defeat. With her soul gone and her spirit origin dispersed, it may have seemed like the primordial goddess had disappeared. But gods are bound by our rules. The primordial goddess didn't need her heart to survive. In other words, this origin universe is... The origin universe is her body. Well, look, the stars are coming together. You liked her as a character in the beginning, but Crimson Flower got really ruined her. I mean... I wouldn't say it ruined her. It depends on the way you look at it. I will agree, though. Crimson Flower definitely needed more fleshed out. It is, sadly, for some reason, the shortest of all the routes. Like, no idea why they would go with that decision there, but it's the shortest for some reason. If it was more fleshed out, then I feel like a lot more of Edelgard's actions could have been justified. Or maybe if there was some way to spare Dimitri as well, and maybe even take on the things that Carl and... I think is what the organization's name is? Yeah, if, if you could somehow spare Dimitri like you could Claude, and take on the things that crawl, which I'm not sure... I don't remember if that's the name of the organization, which really should have been an Edelgard's route. I feel like her... that Crimson Flower would have been a lot better overall. You're rolling for something in the story, because when you chose what location to go to for the next for the day, you kept choosing the candy store where the capsule toys. Ah. Oh. Well, don't get too addict. Well, the good thing about the gotcha in a VN is that you can save before you roll, reload the save if you don't get what you want, and then you know, just manipulate the RNG. Potentially. Actually, I'm not really sure how a gotcha in a VN would work. The two of us together make up the primordial goddess's spirit core. And this origin universe is the body that remained after she removed her own heart. So that's why she didn't disappear, even though her spirit core was gone. Wait, back up. Does that mean this entire galaxy is actually you, Ishtarin? How could there be this much left over? If we're the heart, shouldn't we be more important? No, in human terms, it is no different than the ability of individual cells to think for themselves. A god's heart is but one part of their full self. I'm disappointed to see that my incarnations managed to grow up without even understanding that. The red universe is consolidating. Oh, I thought that she would be bigger. I was about. I was going. I was completely ready for the whole screen to be, the um primordial goddess and i was gonna make a joke about nasu's thing for giant women but no she's she's just flying there well there goes that planned joke however the beating of that heart has woken my body so i will forgive your ignorance indeed i have always been quite forgiving of myself that's just a little arrogant 
Oh, yeah, that's definitely you, Strun. I'm much, much scarier, but you, but still you. Just what is that supposed to mean? Your guards don't die! A surprise attack, hmm? You do, you do understand, you do not understand the futility of something that's so very small as you attempting to harm a being of my power. Pathetic. Okay, so, hmm. I've seen a lot of things online. I cannot say I've ever seen a star-shaped pupil. Or a white pupil. Actually, no. The star-shaped one is probably the more the most unique pupil design that I've seen in a while. I guess star herochromia or something. Uh, there we go. Then again, you are merely a version of me that was brought to life here, and so know nothing of the past. Very well, then I will cleanse your mind of this shining blue galaxy poison it has accumulated. Just this once, I will let you gaze upon my true form, so that you may see the truth of the primordial goddess for yourself. There we go. Oh, that's just her hair. And, okay, there, there, there's Nasu's thing. Okay, I see that. That doesn't look like a pupil. That just more looks like the reflection of the eye, honestly, J6. But to, there's there's Nasu's thing for giant women. There it is. Oh, but there's no special eyes. It's normal eyes now. And you're right. There was very there was too few anime cutscenes in Crimson Flower. Although I have to admit the fina the final cutscene with um. The final cutscene with the, um, with the crest of flames dissipating. That was pretty nice. What the, what's going on? Why is there a giant expanding version of me? Oh, it, it just the picture, it looks like, you know, the picture you sent, J6, it just looks like it might be just a reflection or glare or something. She's not me expanding. She is the shrine. The shrine is the origin universe is the gods. The shrine in the origin universe is the gods true form. It creates life, provides life with culture, and protects the areas where life may grow. This is the goddess shrine Belmara, the true mark of the primordial goddess. I don't remember anything like that being here before. No fair pulling a giant robot on us out of nowhere. Giant robot. It is a shrine, not a robot, so you are the archer. You have done well to survive so long without losing your minds. As a reward for bringing my heart to me, I will do you the kindness of lifting your curse. Rejoice, for your long penance is over. You are free to wither to dust once again. Now then, return to me, my heart. My body may have remained in operation for far longer, but you two are my true self. Now then, let us come together and spread this perfect origin universe far and wide. Beautiful paradise called Eden. Red plains populated only by those who sing my praises. Are you good to go, Sol? I mean, you know... <sighs> just just give me some blades and some chain strap around my arms, and I think I can recreate Kratos here. You know, I, I think this calls for some Kratos time. You know, he's, he's dealt with things that are... How big was Atlas? I don't remember how big Atlas was. Alice is supposed to be... Eh, Alice might be just a little smaller. We have to stop her here and now. We have to. She's actually trying to destroy the entire universe, and she doesn't even feel bad about it. She's an existential threat to all sort of kind. I don't know how I know that, but I do. <laughs> You're talking about yourself here. That's a, subtle, that's a nice subtle bird. Exactly. Nobody knows you better than you, you know yourself. Hey, this is serious. I see. So you would side with humans. Well, hell yeah, I would. Do you even know why I came all this way in the first place? Claude is a bit of an evil mastermind in Golden Deer, indeed. So then I can't get this big pushover here back into his own universe. I'm no pushover. The last thing we need is a fairy tale like Primordial Goddess coming to life. You just stink, sink right back into the obscurity and leave us alone. You myself would choose to forget me. 
Nobody orders me into obscurity, not even myself. Forgiving me is evil. Changing one's beliefs is evil. Moving to a new land is the gravest insult one can give a goddess. Be gone, new me. I can always make myself another heart later. You know, just saying Ishtarin, Ashtart, wouldn't it have made sense to, you know, allow yourself to become the heart and then influence her from inside, you know, so that she doesn't want to destroy everything? Just saying. Oh! A goddess mustn't protect humans. That would indicate the degradation of order. She's got something going for her. Galactic Theory of Life. Null apply nullify attacks smaller than a galaxy state to yourself. Uh, Robin, perhaps, Jakester? So, what this is saying is, I think I need to bring XX to this fight. Oh, Achilles. Interesting. I suppose that, I can definitely see them. Yeah, I can see that. But I think I need to bring XX here. Because isn't her um, dual Rongo Miniad thing like a galaxy level attack or something? I I'm just going to look that up real quick just, just to see if I'm right. Because <clears throat> if I am right, then that would be pretty fun. Is it just anti-world? I could have it was like anti-galaxy or something. Uh, for now, pew pew pew. Oh, she's not that strong. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if Pearson vulnerability would work. It definitely feels like it might. Um. So yeah, her NP is like um, Sapphire Galaxy is, but lawful. So I think XX's Noble Phantasm is. Technically, a galaxy level attack. Uh, a galaxy nebula slicer that uses Rongo Miniad. There we go. So, XX should theoretically be capable of beating her down. So, I guess that's who I'm going to try with uh, after I lose this round. Because, you know, maybe I want to get XA's special cutscene. I really, really would like to get XA's special cutscene here, game. If you please. Although, technically, shouldn't Ishtarins also possibly be one? Supposedly. See... I might just be, like, imagining things, but I vaguely, vaguely remember back when Saber Wars 2 first premiered in JP, that towards the end of it... Oh. Three turns. But towards the end of it, people were saying that there was a special cutscene that featured XA. But it only happened if you, like, lost a fight. I'm not sure which fight it was. I hope it was not the Yagi fight because I just sort of cleaned house with him, but, you know, supposedly. Now, I don't remember if I honestly don't know if this is legit or not or if I was just imagining things, but I'm fingers crossed that I'm not imagining things. Fingers crossed. Also, it looks like I'm not going to get to try XX on the base run of this. We have to do it on the rerun. Be gone, new disgraceful version of me, along with the rest of your repugnant shining blue galaxy. I hope I'm not imagining things. 
Because I would very much like to see XA. She's not dead. I know she's not dead. <laughs> she just faked her death is all. My XA cannot be dead. I can't even scratch her. Seems like I can't even tell if our attacks are landing or not. They are, I promise. Then why does it feel like I'm cutting through air? What's going on? What'd you expect for attacking the universe itself? What the hell does that mean? I can't believe it. You didn't read any of the goddess scriptures, did you? The primordial goddess isn't a goddess with enough magical energy from her galaxy. She is a galaxy. One that's taken the form of a goddess. So that's... Hmm. So she's a galaxy taken the form of a goddess. Much like Kama is a universe. Or is a goddess that is a universe because of that. So, we need to attack her from a conceptual level, since we're inside of her, much like how we in didn't see the inside of Kama being a universe as a universe, we just, and so we just envisioned it as the Oku, which made us think it was the Oku, so long as we're inside the galaxy that is her, if we conceptually think of it as something that is not the galaxy, that could give us a conceptual advantage here to maybe do something. Theoretically, of course. Conceptual thoughts are fun. She may be here to be one, but that's all it is, an appearance. Don't you remember how I told you this origin universe was her remains? What else could that mean but the fact that she is the origin universe? Well, if that means this is her remains, then since we are in her remains, that means she's dead, so... Yeah. Conceptually, she's actually already dead. See? You just gotta conceptually think about things and you've already won. You're kidding. Then there's no way you can possibly defeat her, right, Soul? Well, she's already dead, so we've already won. I don't know what these guys are freaking out about. She's already dead. I mean, look as though the Nebula have gathered together, but they haven't. Not yet, anyway. Nope, if they all collect in one place, we'd already have been sucked into the enormous black hole they create. We're seeing it before us now as a shadow. Our tree body is far bigger than it looks, and has a hell out of empty space. To feed her, we would need to use projectiles large enough to actually hit her and do some damage. They'd have to be as big as a planet, or even another galaxy. Oh, now I gotcha. Source of Beard Origins conceptual. Like the constellations that made up stars are thousands of light years away. I think it does. We're, we're talking in terms of concepts here. You know? Nope, she's still not getting it. I'm completely following this. I'm completely following this logic. Alright, now the upshot is that she can attack us all she wants, but she can't but we can't do a damn thing to her. Nice. Ten ten nine Parvati. Did you run out of QP or lures? How's that even fair? The only positive here is that she's pretty reckless she's attacking pretty recklessly, so she's not hitting us dead on. Mm. Yeah, lures can be tough. It's only a matter of time until that changes. Once this altar falls apart, we'll have nowhere left to run. The ba that Balmana looming over us is the mark of the true goddess. We, or at least I, as an evil goddess, never had any reason to exist to begin with. I was always fated to disappear here. Neither ordinary people nor even the goddess herself ever needed me. So. With Xmas 5, you'll finish? Fair. Or, actually, I was going to say, or maybe... Lentis, but we are getting it. Well, we are getting Xmas 5 before then. Theoretically, you know, there's still time for them to squeeze in the Xmas 4 rerun, you know? There's still some time for that. So I'm gonna hold her off. It doesn't matter if I die here, since my existence was always pointless. Ishtar, use the time I buy you to take Master and get out of here. We have Servant Verse brought the destruction of the Shining Blue Galaxy to on ourselves. It isn't. It shouldn't be your problem, Master. You're only here because I brought you here from your own world. There is no need for you to share our fate. Ash Tart. And you know what? That's another thing. I'm not a part of the Shining Blue Galaxy, so I should not be bound to the Shining Blue, blue Galaxy's rules. So because I'm a master and she's a servant, I should have conceptual advantage. And I already beat down a universe technically, so I should be able to beat down a galaxy. 
Yeah, I messed up when I spoke Atlantis there. I meant there's still time for Xmas 4 rerun. But, you know, there are plenty of evil goddesses that need needed. Aresh, you know. Aresh is definitely needed, and she's an evil goddess. Well, you know, I kind of think that got thrown out the window a long time ago. Since we do have a conceptual advantage against demon god pillars. And we punched out a beast, so, you know. And seduced another. <clears throat> I'm gonna go on before, hurry before I change my mind. How oh, irritating. Now, this, even this other piece of me has apparently decided to sign with humans. I see no further need to hold back. I will release you into the ground you stand on, into your component atoms. Releasing Spirit Origin Galaxy, opening Belmana's gates, returning every life form in this zone to nothingness. Fireworks and the void. So we are at nothing now. No, we are. So this was all Arjuna Alter's place. Damn him. This is all Arjuna Alter's fault. This is where Karna went when he died. That means that all of this was just another simulation run by Arjuna Alter. Screw him. Yes! XA! Dark X. I don't know, is it Dark X? I prefer XA. Definitely XA preferred. This is the place beyond the event horizon. You might call it the Land of the Dead. Hello there, Master. Hmm? You don't know who I am? Yes, I do. Good, that'll make this easier. It seems you've been caught up in something quite terrible. I've had to deal with my own share of that kind of thing, so I know how terrible it can be. The threat of the whole universe dying out just can't compete with the thrill of a new kind of sweep being announced. She's not wrong. She is definitely not wrong there. Universe dying out, new sweets. One of them is definitely, definitely bigger. So if you want sweets, you need a universe. So I'm here to help you out with my mysterious powers. So she's going to help us out with her infinity stones. I'm going to throw you back in time a little bit, then it'll be up to you to choose a better path. You already have everything you need to win, all that's left now is for those two to reckon with their feelings. I know one of them is all set to throw her life away, but that's just a bit of teenage angst. <laughs> teenage angst from Ashtart. Well, I mean... Once she learns the truth of her circumstances, I'm sure she'll be ready to step up to the challenges ahead. All right, then. I'll see you again somewhere. Someday. Good luck, Black Knight. Aww. XA. Come with us, XA. Please, XA. She remembers us. The key to victory. You've been sent back in time, find the goddess scripture with the true story recorded, and then challenge the main quest again. One of the bounties hiding somewhere in the universe might have it, question mark, exclamation point. So I can see XA anytime I want just by clicking that again. I kind of want to know if she would be exasperated if we tried again. A part, a small, small part of me wants to just click it again, just to see if she would show some exasperation. But... I think I need to uh, follow the guide now. So, the guide's next steps are... You think I should do it? You know what, you're right. Let's do it. Let's see. Will she say it again? I need to know. Will she express exasperation? Because I feel like that that was that is definitely something that I can see the writers doing, you know. I can definitely see that being something that is done. Uh 
So beyond that, it does look like the next bounty, so that we have to do Martha, Tamamo, and Okita's bounties as the next three steps since I've been doing all of the free quests that needed to be done over the weekend. So XA, do you have new lines if I do it again? It'd be hilarious if you did. With the Abbey Bounty still- I did see that there is an Abbey Bounty. Thanks, Jakester. It was nice chatting with you, man, and I hope to see you next time. Life, Land of the Dead. I know who you are. Well, I don't think she's got anything new to say. It's still nice to see XA, though. It's still nice. But yeah, I love how XA essentially has the Infinity Stones for the Servant Verse. It is just so, so appropriate. Anyway, so we need to claim the Martha, Tamamo, and Okita bounties. So, Absolute Justice Saint, Martha. The Tamamo is... Good, cutest good wife, Kaz Tamamo. And we need. Solitary Okita. Is there now? Is it a repeatable one, J6? Because if so, then I'm gonna be very happy to fight that blurred out name. That name that is just static. I will be very happy to do so. Anyways, here. The bounty for Martha is first. Um, hmm. It's a saber. So. Since these are essentially challenge quests. Oh, that's glorious. Hey. How? It is that just a visual glitch? Okay, that was that was a weird visual get glitch there. You you guys saw that visual glitch as well, with um, the cause symbol being covered by the name for that Kyle THP there briefly. I'm not hallucinating that, am I? All right. So this one, it does look like it will have a bronze tier reward. We are going to keep with this squad here. Um, put my Scotty up there. And let's get this party started. Good. Very, very good. There's going to be a lot of bullying. And by bullying, I mean completely justified slaughtering. Two years from now, it seems. That's good. Fatal Battle. Absolute Justice Saint, Martha. Oh. Hmm. I don't really want to waste an NP on round one if I don't have an XA Brave Chain, so. Let's see if we can't get. To oh, good lord, I almost blasted right through. That hurt. <clears throat> Evasion XA. So this is bar one. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And that is enough for one Scotty to provide a boost. First break is there's a bounty. Me. There must be some mistake. An attack and crit rate up. Oh! She's a ruler. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing XA is still advantageous against rulers.
And I don't think there's a mistake on your bounty here, Martha. Um, support Scotty. There's the hog right now. I probably could get away... I can definitely get away with not NPing this round. I think I can get away with not NPing here. So let's go Buster quick quick. Ooh, those values, man. So good. Way to go, this is getting fun. More attack... <coughs> oh no! I'm trying to think if there's any way I can salvage this. There is! My my game just crashed there, man. Oh, woe is me for my game be crashing. Whoa, oh, woe is me. Curse you, older phone, for crashing my game. How dare you, cursed phone. I think I sold that. I think I sold it well. Yeah. I don't think they... I don't think they're out to me. Oh, shoot. I thought Scotty had charged. Damn it. Hmm... <laughs> Any change in order results in a different chain of attacks. <laughs> Good. There we go. XA destroy. Mmm, that's some good damage values. Love seeing those numbers, man. <laughs> and... We get 81 more bronze sabers. Alright, alright. Next is Tamamo. Oh, we don't get to redo these. The cutest good wife, Kaz Tamamo. Saber again. So I'm betting that they all start off as sabers until a specific condition is met. Which, you know, <laughs> that's just bad for them because I've got an anti-saber weapon of mass destruction here. So, you know, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with this. Just keep throwing those sabers at me. They're just going to keep going down and down and down. Thank you, Mommy Nanami, for the follow. It is greatly appreciated. Welcome to the stream, and I hope you enjoy. Just getting towards through a bounty quest so that we can take on the universe itself. Alright, so I should probably read this. Activate when damaged. Um, chance to inflict curse or single enemy when attacked. Plus an increase of attack for yourself. And Saber Badge. Change your class to Saber when removed when taking a quick attack. Well, I'm sorry, Tamamo, but you're only probably going to be taking one quick attack here. I'm sorry to say. And it will be the only quick attack you take. Good lord, XA just dominates this man. I kind of want to see if I'm going to be able to solo all of these with... Or, it's not really a solo, but get through all of these with just XA for the most part as our damager. 
Something tells me I will. That's why I changed my wording a little bit later on. It's far from, it's not a solo, but it's like one servant primarily doing the damage. Because like a true solo, you know, those are, those are a little bit harder to pull off. Oh, 1.8 million. That was even higher than last time. Damn. I'm gonna miss these high numbers from XA. I know. I'm just... I forgot to switch over to the silver area, but that's fine. But, um... I mean, I do technically have Georgis, and I could probably find somebody on my support list with a Georgis or a Leonidas as well. It's just... I don't know. I don't really feel like going through that bit of that effort to do so. I mean, I definitely respect the people like you who do go through that effort to do so. And to be fair, there is a lot of different definitions for a solo. Some people would say that what I just did there with XA could technically be considered a solo. Technically. And I mean, there's all the people soloing the... She who shall not be named without any of the KP things. But they have a lot of servants buffing up a specific servant. And that is technically considered a solo, you know? Alright, Solitary Okita. So, it is Okita. So, it's Saber all the way down, essentially. Saber's all the way down... Let's switch over to the Golden Squadron. Move Waver for Scotty. 60. Okay, we're so close to that Bond 10 CE on Scotty. So very close. Um, also, XA. Throw, throw Binary Song Stress on you. There we go. Let's -a go. So, Shiki and CCC with Fujino. And I respect that, man. That takes a lot of time and effort to do. Time and effort that I probably don't have the patience for myself. But, you know... I respect it all the same. Okay, time for me to go down. It is not your great victory. Oh. It's Okitan. Well then. It was easier if it wasn't for her constant death proct. She does death proct quite a bit in that, doesn't she? So, Cyber Badge, it is removed when receiving a critical attack. Okay. Critical attack is a little annoying, but thankfully here... We have a damn good turn for XA. Just pop everybody's skills. Um, I forget. Do different cards have different star weights, or is it just servants? Because I'm trying to remember if arts cards have a greater star weight than quick cards, or if it's just based on servants. I want to say it's just based on servants, though. It is just based on servants, so it doesn't matter which one of them I lower the odds on. Since they both have a singular card on the board. Not the best of crit chances there, but you know. It should be enough. Uh, BQQ. Oh, ho, ho. Hyper Majin mode. Saber Badge fell off from a critical attack. Oh no! My game crashed again. Oh, woe is me. For my game doth crash. 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 Ah. <sighs>
Well, hopefully it doesn't crash this time. I think this time, though, I'm going to throw an evasion on XA just to be safe. You know, just to be safe. Oh, by the way, I have a little bit off topic here, but I have figured out how to make a mod pack with Minecraft. The issue is, is that something in the mod pack that I made has is causing it to continuously crash, so I need to do some troubleshooting to find out which mod is coming into conflict with all the others. But when I figure it out, you know, then maybe we'll finally move over to a different mod pack. Rather than the Direwolf 21, it'll be a custom one. You can't advance in Botania. No oh, time. Fair. That is understandably uh, understandable reason. Oh right. Um, I no. I I allied you though. I know I re-allied up with you. So you should be able to interact with stuff on my territory. Yeah, you should be able to interact with stuff on my territory. Hmm. I might hop on tonight to make sure of that. Unless the server reset. Oh, two million damage. Glorious. I know, but I can at least check from my end, because I could have swore I re-allied up with you and Andy. I could have swore I did. Maybe it just slipped my mind or something, but... It's definitely going to be something I have to look into. Also, very clearly the Direwolf 20 pack is not getting any more support. I don't think you need to be online, though. I don't think you do, but you might need to. In actuality, I'm, I'm not sure. So we'll, we'll figure it out, though, J6. We will figure it out. Five bounty quests gets us 100 Artorium. And the Absolute Justice Saint Martha... Cutest good web cost, Somomo and Celery Okita unlocks the Edgy Fet as well as another Bestia del Sol. Which we will unlock. Capture Bounty Edgy Fet has been unlocked. So, where is the bounty for this Edgy Fet? 400 Artorium. So we're not going to be able to get all the bounties done today. That much is clear, unless we get a metric ton more. Artorium here. So, Zenjo. Bounty Hunter Edgy Fet. Alright, alright. Let's get this party started. Go, XA, go. Delicious H2O. Oh, there's Edgy. Hi, Edgy. You definitely made a mistake, man. Oh, Edgy. Edgy, 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 Edgy. See, I'm not going to even target your buddies because they're keeping you down to one attack. Now, the trick here is, will XA do enough to blast through that bar here? With just a singular quick card. Mm, I guess it doesn't matter which one I lower. Marrow Shadowless Blade, only a 30% odds, so crit is not likely to happen, but we're going to go for it anyways. And also throw the evasion on, just to be 1000% safe, because we've had some bad luck, but we don't. <clears throat> Good hit. Good hit, and almost. Almost. Okay, this will definitely be enough. Ravage him. Oh, 
One shot kill. Sure. Hit and he charged. Thank you! Sorry, Scotty. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Oh, Jiang Yu. I forgot you were my other one here. Well. Um. Boop. Boop. And boop. Why not? Bye, Edgy. Oh man, I forgot to give her the NP damage buff. Darn. But yeah, hopefully I can figure out a way to get the mod pack working properly so that we can um, fully move over to one that I can consistently update the mods on because a lot of the mods on the Direwolf 20 have a few new versions, including Journey Map, or the Map mod, which I believe fixes the issue of the teams resetting, or allies resetting and all that. So that'll be a good thing to have fixed. Jeez, Edgy, your your squad was like bad. Edgy Fett, you you need to definitely when you're at when you get out of prison or wherever it is that you're thrown, you need to work on getting a new better squad together. So Edgy Fett and Zenjo quests five completed. Hundred and twenty Gold. Hot diggity dog. What's this at? 400. Very nice. Very nice indeed. <clears throat> we also did get a goddess scripture there. Oh, and we got the Mistress of the Heavens command code. Which is crit strength for the engraved card only if it is a buster. What, well, your wish for victory... You wish for victory more than a good harvest? Leave it to me then. I'll give it my all to shoot down all your enemies. And 3.5 mil. Very nice, very nice. Let's go ahead and claim these scarabs of wisdom. I'm doing pretty good on the shop, too. Pretty good. Almost done with bronze and silver mats. All right. And then to here, back to here at least, where Zenjo gets us another 100 prisms, and Edgy Fett gets another Bestia del Sol. That's our third one, I want to say. So our in-progress missions are Space Cat, King Elichan, 100 Assassin and Berserker, Dark Mana, Secret Fortress, and All Missions. So that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which means there are 9 that are locked. Mission 6, 8, 33, 34. Okay, so yeah, there's just random missions. I'm sure we'll figure out what they are later. Um... Nothing really fantastical, except for the lore in that, but that's always the complete all missions thing, so yeah. Um, Goddess Scripture 6. Oh, it's up here. Goddess Scripture 6, a certain professor's... Professor's? Professor's? Reminiscence. Class is in section... In session, take out the Goddess Scripture you collected. This is only our third Goddess Scripture, though, isn't it? I think this is only our third one. Why is it number six? Got a scripture confirmed. Beginning lesson now. The goddess chose to divide herself into good and evil halves in the form of innocent newborn human children. Though unfortunately, I don't know what her intentions were in doing so. When I discovered this, I was confronted with several options. 
I knew that freezing them and sealing them away for good would be the safest path as far as humanity was concerned. It really would have been. You know, really would have been. But the goddess had made a choice to divide herself, and that had, meant, had to mean something, so I felt sealing the halves away would be wrong. That's why I decided to raise one half as my daughter and let the other half stay asleep. Right? Part of that was because, practically speaking, it would have been tremendously difficult to raise two children all on my own. Dude, Tokiomi, man. Space Tokiomi. You're clearly a cool dad, bro, man. You could have def. You just needed to get yourself a good wife, you know, and you, you probably could have done it, to Space Tokiomi. I, be I believe in you. You're, you're better than normal Tokiomi. By a large, large margin. But it was also because raising two children with such different dispositions would cause such a great deal of discord. And that just left one question, which half do I raise? Obviously a goddess of good would naturally gravitate towards doing good. The moment she woke up she would find herself loved and accepted by people everywhere. Conversely, a goddess of evil would of course be a threat to our galactic peace. Her very existence would surely lead people to fear and reject her. Da -da 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 -da. I spent years devoted to my cold calculated work to bring peace to all of humanity. As such, the obvious choice would be to raise the good half. But I felt like that wouldn't be the right choice either. Ishtarin's actually the bad half. Did I call it? I decided that only a more difficult path would be appropriate. A path no one would have ever taken. It was a lot like how Jane feels when she gets the urge to visit an unexplored planets, or how I become genuinely enthralled with the archaeology after originally adopting it as a cover. Our very existence as humans leads us to con constantly try to learn new things and relearn what we once lost. It would be easy to expel the evil half just for being evil, but that would also leave us no better off than we were before. So I decided I wanted to extol the virtues of love into the evil goddess to treat her as a person in her own right, and to have her learn what true happiness is. So my choice was made, and I woke the evil half up. I knew it! Ashtart's actually good. I called it with how incompetent she was at being evil. She had to be the good half. Ever since then, every day has been more joyous and fulfilling than I can adequately put into words. She grew up into a beautiful girl, even more than I had dared hope for. She is my pride and joy. Alright, that concludes my message. What do you do with these facts now is up to you. You can keep them to yourself, or you can forget them at all if you decide they're not worth the trouble. Then why bother leaving a message at all, you say? <laughs> Let's just say that we doting dads can't help but stick our nose into our children's business. Since I figured you'd be traveling with her someday, I thought you should hear her whole story. Anyway, I think I've talked enough now. I hope you and my daughter have a great adventure together. Why did Adjemia Servant vs. Version have this? Question mark? Why did Adjemia have this one? I don't know why. I really want to know why he had it, though. I really, really do. Regardless, um, it says back here, so, oh, XA, is it XA? Oh, is XA going to come out of nowhere and help our asses out again for another time? That'd be awesome. Not going to lie. Orbital fire, get down, get down. Be gone as you disgraceful version of me, along with the rest of your opponent's shining blue galaxy. So far, it's the same. Can't even scratch her. They are. Why well, feel kind of through air? I'll attack the universe itself. What the hell does that mean? Didn't you read any of the goddess scriptures? Goddess is in the, she's a galaxy. Taking the form. Human appearance. What is the origin universe? No way you can defeat her. Uh, not able to gather yet anyways. Black hole. Bigger empty space. Big as a planet or galaxy. Nope, still not getting it. I'm fully understanding. Yep, she can attack us all she wants. Can't do a damn thing to her. Even fair. You know, also, it just occurs to me, the fact that XA was able to overwrite this tells me that she is stronger than Ashtart, Origin, whatever her name is. No matter time until that changes, when the soldier falls apart, no more left to run. 
The mana looming. Evil goddess, never had any reason to exist to begin with. Always waited to disappear here. Neither ordinary people nor even the goddess or something for need to be, so. Gonna hold her off. Doesn't matter if I die. Existence pointless. Get out of here. Shouldn't be our problem. There's no need for you to share our fate. Ashtart. Evil goddess. Go hurry before I change my mind. A lot of piece of me has decided to side with humans. No need to hold back. Releasing the spirit origin. Everything's happening the exact same way. Oh no, different scene here. You're wrong. That's not true, Ashtart. You're actually the good side. The goddess of your core broken two halves, good half and evil half. To learn about humans as a human child, she believes she can become an ordinary inhabitant of the shining blue galaxy if she were, if only she were to free to the side of herself that hated humans. This is a joyous turn of events. A goddess of good would be a huge boon for all of humanity. So I'll see the evil half away in my basement and raise my good half as my own daughter. Bring up love and care for her to it. She has ensured the goddess should ends up caring for humanity. The only problem is... Hey! Edgy! Problem? What kind of problem could there be with that? The only problem is this will really be in her best interest. People would certainly welcome a goddess of good into the world, but that wouldn't be a true reconciliation with the goddess's whole self. The way I see it, Edgy Fett, is that we'll only be truly able to prove our, that our universe is a righteous one by demonstrating that anyone, even being born of evil, can find peace and happiness in this world if they're raised with love and kindness. Which is why I'm going to raise the good half as my daughter. I'm not going to raise the good half. I'm going to raise the evil one. My hope is that one day we'll both laugh at the idea that her goddess self didn't need her. And that she'll go on to awaken her good half Ashtar by her own hand. Sheesh, why keep her to kill the goddess for good? I never thought I'd have to listen to some damn fairy tale. I guess this means your days of being a cold-blooded mage pretending to be an archaeologist are over. You can just go back to being one of the last seven masters in the way... Seven, first off, but Tokiomi's a master. Okay, that I was not seeing coming. So not only is Tokiomi a master, but there are six others. Or at least there was. However many years ago that took place. The good half, are you sure? No way, then does that mean Ishirin's? Yep, she's evil. Are you freaking kidding me? That's not true. That's impossible. Although, now that I think about it, Father did say I was one of the two halves of the goddess, but he never said I was the good one. He's always a master. He's a better master than... Oh, God. The space priest smiles. Actually, that... Honestly, that would be wild if the last seven masters in the servant verse are the seven... Masters from Fate Zero. So that would be Kire, um, Lord El Malloy, um, Tokiomi, Kiritsugu, um, Waver, um, Ryusei, I think was the name of Caster's Master, and then. What's his name? Tokiomi's brother. I can't remember his name. It was Zerkerlot's master. So she was the evil half all along. That explains why she flies off the handle so easily. Oh, wait, hang on. If I'm the worst goddess of pure evil side, I stop her. Because then we're actually too wholesome for this world. Seriously, I can't believe all she had was my good self turned out to be. Though this is reassuring to have her around. Now I start. It's nothing. Just forget it. Besides, right now we have more immediate concerns. Spishin Kageryu's secret technique. Nendo Suigetsu Futatsu Dao. God Shadow Stream. Karia. Yes. She cut the attack from a galaxy. Want to just dark history and just blow away that rain of lightning with a single, single swing of a sword? No wonder you're the Spishin Kageryu's leader here, Ashtart. Well, of course, I can use my goddess power. This should be pretty simple, really. 
What was that? Are you making a dig at me? I stretch your body. It's... <gasps> Don't worry about me. I essentially died the moment I fell asleep on that altar. Ash Tart, no! The only one of you should be concerned about reading her right now is her. Looks like she's got plenty of breathing room, so to speak, she'll be firing another volley at us any moment now. Come on, Ishtar, I know what you... I know you know what needs is you need to do right now. I'm not sure I've been feeling it ever since I fought you on Dark Mana, but if I do this... And if you don't, you'll me and your two friends there will be reduced to atoms. My spirit is on its last leg, so it's time to do this whether you're ready or not. I want you to be the base. But you're supposed to be sisters! Do I really have to spell it out? Ishtar and I are going to become a single being. Fusion dance. Fusion dance. <clears throat> the evil half that came to know good. The good half that came to know evil. We're both the same. Of course we are. We're the same person. I was never really abandoned, and the half of me that was meant to be in instead care by for humans. Humanity has proven that, while good and evil may be at odds, it's not impossible for them to coexist. So now all that's left to do is what must be done. Right, Ishtar? I can't even begin to imagine what your life has been like. Growing up in the space in Kagiryu ever since you were kidnapped ten years ago. But if it's what you want, after everything you've been through, I don't see how I can refuse you. So, okay, I'm game. Besides, the ancient version of us is just pissing me off. I feel like she owns the whole damn universe, so... Ishtarin is 24, then, because... Tokiomi was killed when she was 14. Ashtar is 10. Hmm. Which means Edgy Fett has had that thing. So wait, how long did it take Tokiomi to discover the Twin Goddess cores? Because the fight that split the Goddess cores took place, what, 2,000 years ago, according to Sigurd and Jane? So does that mean that for 1,980... In 76 years, there were just the split spirit core just floating there. Or did Tokiomi get it all the way back then, and it took him this long to make a decision? I need to know these things. Well, what do you know? We finally agree on something. Mel Mom is firing another volley. I'm pretty sure this goddess is trying to blow the try and tent this time. Hey, Master of Earth. Remember how you weren't scared of me even when we first met? I am dead. I could be. Did you know I was an evil goddess from the start? Yeah, you were very incompetent at being evil. I see. I guess I really did lose this one. Fusion, huh? That's where that ascension comes from. Okay. You went back to being me, even though you're just my heart and that vibrant starlight. It's... That's right, I'm a newborn galaxy. One that embraces the old ways of love and hate while accepting the new order. I am the primordial goddess Ishtar Ashtart, but my human friends call me Space Ishtar. I'm a brand new shining star born 5 billion light years away from your fossilized ass. Oh, snap. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not. It's not. It's not. You betrayed everything your origin stood for. Your origin universe, home universe stood for. How dare you protect the object of my wrath. Curse you, shining blue galaxy. Curse you, servants who cast away their human vessels. You're not me. Not anymore. I'll see that your spirit origin galaxy dies in a blaze of searing agony. Jin, get your noble phantasm ready. We're going to need your eye after we kick her ass. You got it. Get, go get her, Ishtarin. Master, no. Soul, I'd like you to back me up with your command spells. With those on my side, I know I can handle anything. Um. Yep, Ash starts first experience with command seals. How did you know? You missed nothing, do you? You have no right to exist. The Shining Blue Galaxy doesn't deserve protecting. That's not your choice to make. Only the humans behind me have the right to decide that. Now then, let's get started, Origin. Don't worry, I'll show you how all the respect you deserve. 
So two goddesses, huh? Come on, let's see for ourselves which of us has the wildest, most beautiful starlight. Two goddesses. Where there was once one, one became two, became three, became two, will become one. Pretty sure that's how it's going to go. Um, Yumi, it can't be, it can't be, it can't be, it can't be. So, goddess of love and hate. And, uh, okay, I was gonna say, how are we gonna fight this? So, NP, strength, and attack up. Meanwhile, we have Space Hunter, Strength, Attack, Quick, Arts, Buster, NP, Max HP, and HP Recovery. 82,000 HP. I need to know. I, I, I really do need to know. King Protea. How much HP can King Protea get? She can get, what, 10 turns of her thing, I want to say? King Protea. Show me King Protea here. So King Protea, Protea level 120, somehow, Grailed would be 7, so level 100 Grailed, because that would be the standard. There's 14, 6, 12, 10 stacks, so 30,000, maximum of 40,000, so yeah. Outside of some probably very specific comps, this is the highest HP any servant will ever be. Um, Devil Sugar! Effectiveness for everything, please? A. And probably save that for now? Um, B A B. Should have gone B A Q as the classic. Not bad damage. Aha, you missed the buster. Um, let's go with a B-A-Q this time. Ooh, good crit. Come on, crit, 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 no. Tank. 10 HP stack up KP with double Merlin in the final Tiamat fight. The final Tiamat fight is something I didn't really consider. And then let's pop the evasion on you for the slightest of heals. And then we'll do another BAQ. And these kind of damages with just normal attacks too is awesome. I have to admit. 50,000 HP heal. Can't be, it can't be, it can't be. I was really worried we were about to get NP'd there. Which is why I ha Oh! Okay. Somebody crits like a beast. Second verse, same as the first. Let's just do BAQs this time, I think. We'll probably be smart, you know. Constant BAQ. Probably the way to go. I'm gonna say. Constant B A Q. I think I did I lose volume or is the game Is the game Game lost volume. Hang on. 
Game. Why you do this to me, game? Of course the game would lose its volume. When I have an actual plan. <laughs> I had a plan. A plan! There we go. Volume has returned. The thing is, though, G6, is, is there ever going to be a chance to, um, do that kind of setup again? Like, when are we going to fight Tiamat again, you know? Devil's Scar. Multiple Starling E. And I think Reflector just crashed. Yep, Reflector just crashed on me. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It is being fun right now. What's up? Do you have five bucks? I do not have five dollars on me, no. That way you can pay him. We're wondering if that's why he's not doing our break. I will see about getting... Well, I got 70. I don't have... I can just pay him. Okay, I will pay you back then. Thank you. Well, that's I'm... why I wanted... You got I'm... five in there. I do not have five dollars. In coins, you don't. No, I... Maybe in coins, but I'm still streaming right now, so... Well, I want to pay him now. Yeah, I should... I need to mute here. Hang on. Sorry about that. I'll cut that out when I put this on YouTube. Okay. Back to the epicness. Alright, alright. So, I'm actually thinking here. We have some pretty good NP gain. Should I maybe use NP here? NP here, and then if push comes to shove, next turn I can just use a seal to regain NP. I think I do. I think this is the turn to NP here. She's got Arts NP anyway, so you know. It should theoretically work. Theoretically. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna need MP strengthening skills. Provided I live. Because I just saw how low of health I am. Well, that just happened. So, I guess I need to proc that evasion. Evasion is needed because she crits like a 
beast. Those are some monstrously monstrous crits there. Monstrously monstrous. You know, it would make it better if this voice was... That's just too calm, it feels. That it can't be, it can't be, it can't be. It just feels too calm, you know? Anyways. Third verse, same as the second. B-A-Q. Alright. And then we toss a little bit of an inva invasion. Evasion. And do do do. One attack that will hit. That still smacked. Um, <clears throat> that could have hurt, but this is going to hurt worse. I had the invincibility on that skill. Should have maybe done that. Oh well. How could this be? Am I going to be defeated? Again? Poor Origin. She just lost all she wanted to care for. Three Genesis eggs. Yay. Uh -oh. Excuse me. No battle node. A lot of bounties are next. A lot, a lot of bounties. But I need to make sure I have Artorium for them. Enough battles over, you lost. Now I'm gonna shove my foot so far up your galactic sized ass, you'll only ever taste Stardust and Shoelaces from now on. Alright, J6, thanks for dropping by, man. It was nice chatting with you, and I hope to see you next time. This can't be happening. There shouldn't be a force in the universe capable of pulling me away from a newborn galaxy. Aw, oh, damn, I can't believe you actually blasted her a whole pot second away. But then I guess I shouldn't be too shocked, seeing as you're both conceptual universes. Alright, time for me to do my part. Here goes. Solaris open, a polar star, illuminate the wall that threatens all of humanity once more. Bingo, don't know what it means, but I definitely saw it. Trin. I've got her shadow and a real body square in my sights. Now's your chance to take her down with the same attack. Go for it. Perfect timing, I knew I could count you on the legendary space scout. I'm being pulled away, now I'm starting to disappear. This can't be, this shouldn't even be possible. It's one thing for you to reach the same scope and scale as me. That was bound to happen. We're the same concept, with the same spirit origin springing from the same source. We may see things differently, but our power should be the same. Exactly the same. So the battle between us should only, can only ever end a draw. Which is why I don't understand. Why am I the one going older and colder? What possible difference can there be between you and me? Me! 
The difference is that I'm looking ahead to the future while you're stuck in the past. This is it, Origin. I'm gonna end with this special bullet made just for you. This one's half the size of a universe. Go on, take it. Don't be shy. Just this once, it'll be my treat. I keep feeling myself disappearing, growing colder. My form, my life, returning to the universe. Oh, does this mean you're all going to leave me behind again? No, no, I refuse to accept this, and I won't forget. Not ever. I'll not accept this fate, not even at the end of time itself. If both the shining blue galaxy and the origin universe would reject me, then I'll retreat even further into the past. No matter how far I disperse, or how much my remains degrade, I will have my revenge on you and all of humanity. <laughs> Is the red gonna disappear? Now I wonder. Doesn't seem like the red's disappearing. Oh, sure, and you're back to your own self. Welcome back. I'm just exhausted. Even at this, at this point, even I don't have any idea what happened. My memories are all mixed up with ash starts. Just sitting upright makes my lungs feel like they're on fire. Wrapping my head around atoms is so fiendishly difficult that I can't tell what's really big or small. Nope, I'm never changing that spirit origin again. Besides, this one definitely suits me best. You did good out there, kid. Huh? You mean you were watching from the outer hole this whole time? Why didn't you stay in this cockpit where it was safer? Anyway, why am I so shaken up about that? Is it Ashtar? Is this her influence? Only to our adorable, but if you're gonna hug it out, you should do it inside the ship. Wait, what? Guys, look up there. Belmana's falling right towards us. You mean the Origin Shrine's still around even though she's gone now? Oh crap, it's gonna fall right on top of us, and it's way too late to stop it. I don't wanna get... I'll get smushed by a giant Ishtarin. And then, Tori, where there's trouble, there's savers. Let's step back a little, because I can't stop this thing. X? Save our ninja art. Right, if this thing's not going to back off, I'll just have to smash it to pieces. Here comes my second noble phantasm, my newly, like, really newborn galaxy me galactic meteor sword XEX. As long as they're tangible, there's nothing, no one, no one I can't cut. Go X. <coughs> you know what, that building kind of reminded me of someone. Anyway... What the heck happened here? X? You're alive. Of course she's alive. Well, of course I am. It's good to be back, Sol. Well, I gotta say, I really thought I was dead this time, back when Dark Man exploded and sent me flying. In fact, I'm pretty sure I actually did die. My soul crossed over to the next world and everything. But then I kind of get the impression someone chewed me out and sent me back the way I came. I think they said something like, it's snack time now, so please don't come back. X A. <laughs> Next thing I knew, the sparrows had saved me and helped me get my strength back. And then, uh, when I saw the intense reactions going on here, I hurried over as fast as I could. So, uh, what happened with the space Shinkage Ryu, then? I was all set for a big final grand slam, but that impact just now felt more like a double to the left of the center field. <laughs> First she destroys Belmont with a single strike, and now she's ready to go for more. You servants are something else. I guess the servant person never had anything to worry about from that silly old primordial goddess after all. Yeah, she is a bit of a leak of her own. Don't worry about it. If that's how she feels, then it must be true. The important thing is, she's still able to laugh no matter what terrible things happen or might, who she might really be. There are so many things special happening that any one of them might roll off your back. The least they can do is the shining blue galaxy. True. Oh man, all three of you laughing and smiling at each other like you don't have a care in the world anymore. That must mean this whole incident is over and all that's left is the credits. You know, that throws something that's been nagging at me that's dark relief. Story had nothing to do with Saber Wars at all. I barely had any part this time. Aw, X, you got a big part, X. It couldn't have been done without you. All the way back to Texas Beyond. With the credits, quite literally. Quite literally, the credits. Hey, everybody's here. Gwen and Benny. Who else? Who else? Who else? Taiga and Xiang Yu. Aww. Jane and X. And Spishtar.
And the ghost of Tokyo Me. Jane and Cat. Cat is dead, though. Zerk Urlot's there as well. Anastasia and Altera. Jane and Anastasia. Altera. Billy and Jane. Billy and question mark, question mark, question mark. Who the hell was that? Okay, we've all said a go out to everyone. It's great seeing them all doing well. Well, Saber Patch is no longer being distributed, the Fad should run its course in due time. At last, we'll go back to being servant first, where only true Sabers can call themselves Sabers. All that's up now is to get Soul back to his own universe. Hmm. Everything okay there, Spishtar? Well, I'm totally fine. I'm not sad about anything. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see. This so there should be more Dark Mana warped in. Yep, there's still a disturbance in space-time here. This should probably let us kick you back to your own universe, no problem. Oh, come on, Ishtarin, really? You know this is, is goodbye. You do know this is goodbye forever, right? If you don't say what you really want to say now, you're the one who's going to regret it, you know? What do you mean? The only thing I'm feeling right now is liberated. I'm finally about to be rid of Soul's dead weight. I paid back the Spatian Kageri for everything they did, and then some. I even turned a profit thanks to the reward money. It does tick me off that I'm not going to get paid for all the work I did as Soul's bodyguard. But since he's not from this universe, I suppose I can forego my usual fee. Alright, no time like the present. Ready to go back home, Soul? Thanks for everything, Spishtar. You're welcome. I still would have liked to get paid, but I can make do with your gratitude. If you have to say goodbye, better do it with a smile. So thank you too, Master of Earth. Thanks for looking up for us right to the end. Gotcha, okay, sure enough, that's how you want to do it. That's okay. You always did hate Savage goodbyes. Although I still don't know how we're going to get him back home. Can you use your Ash... Ashtarin's powers now or something? No, I can't. Ashtart said the only reason she was able to warp to another universe was because she had Dark Mana. Without a man-made shrine like that, our power alone isn't enough to cross the barrier between dimensions. Which is why I'm going to use our primordial cast power. Luckily, I've still got our spear origin inside me, so if I use it all up, I should be able to get you back to Caldea Soul. Sure, you want to use it all up? And you just got this awesome new power, but now you're going to blow it? It's fine, really. I'm pretty sure I'm never going to need to assume that form again anyway. And if it'll get Soul home safely, it's more than worth it. X could probably get us back. Alright, here goes nothing. Jade, make sure X, you and X keep clear. Got it? Well, you know, my goddess power might just be a way too strong for your universe to handle. So if it ends up crystallizing or something after I send you back, just do what you want with it. I mean, it'll probably be too much for a weak-ass master like you to handle. But you can at least remember how great I am whenever you see it. And you've got to remember me. Aww. Sundere. Alright, since this doesn't look to be goodbye at all, I might as well get this off my chest. It's been hard for me the last ten years, ever since father was murdered. But believe it or not, this journey ended up being pretty fun. Getting caught up in your predicaments, the four of us going around causing trouble wherever we went. I feel like I came dangerously close to dying each time, but even so, I still had fun. So, so I'll see you again sometime, Master. Just let me know if you run into any universe shaking trouble, and I'll come running even if I have to borrow money for the trip. Aww. You know, if I want to do a cool send-off, too. See you around, so thanks for helping Ishtarin out. Don't be afraid to call me whenever you want to see me again, hmm? What's the fact that we're stopped from a totally different universe? This never stopped me before. I'll come visit you again, too. Besides, I've been wanting to see how Lily's training's coming along. Next time, I'll be more adult, and I'll be the cutest, most dashing saber you've ever seen. So make sure you keep an eye out for the Extra X version of X coming at you soon. <laughs> saber. Right. Episode 3! Episode 3! Aw, Ashtart's there as well. Aw. Poor Ashtart. She deserved to be her own person. And we're back. Ow. Senpai. And a grail! Because why not? And you brought all the grail with you. Weird, you just popped up out of nowhere, along with what feels like an unmatchedly powerful divine aura. Oh well. So, welcome back, Axel. Where'd you go? Sorry to worry you, Mash. Well, I've certainly been a little panicked, but well... You so, said, Senpai, 
After you left here with Ishtar, and the young Ishtar to be precise, the Ishtarino showed up. And we were just about to go ask Da Vinci for help. Yeah, what well, she said. I've only been here for a few minutes. I think I've never heard what Mash was in such a tizzy about. Now, all that aside, what's going on with that Mr. Code? I've never seen anything so awesome. I mean, rare anywhere on Earth. Where in the world did you get such a cool outfit? No, see, it looks like you got up in something big, Senpai. I'll go make another pot of tea. Something tells me you have a lot to tell us about. I want to hear about it, too. It might not have gone lo that long, but I was still the victim of groundless accusation thanks to whatever just happened. In that case, I think I'll stick around as well. I wouldn't feel comfortable leaving Ishtar here alone. Assuming that's alright with you, of course. A long time ago, in a universe far, far away. This is the story of a universe that existed once upon a time. I know you may have more than a few things you'd like to say in response to that. But I hope you'll at least hear me out, even if you have to take this part with a big grain of salt. This might have all really happened in some other universe out there. Or it may just be a myth that could never have happened at any time in any universe. No, it happened. Or was that us saying that? Might have been us saying that. And da 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 Holy Grail. Jane's profile has been updated with all of her stuff. Um, so in the Servant Universe 2000 years ago, Jane joined the team to take on the primary goddess serving as their scout. While the mission was discussed thanks to the accurate intel she gathered, she received a curse of immortality after killing the goddess, causing her to no longer be capable of dying until the goddess reawakened. A typical person would have been driven mad by such endless wandering, but Jane's innate cheerfulness has enabled her to endure the curse. That's nice. So. 70 Saber Class unlocks the Return of Refugee X. All the quests on the mission board. And 70 missions total. So we have two more missions we can complete. We also have access to all things in the shop. However, to get all of the bounties done, I will do the calculation here in just a minute. So first, the mission rewards. 70 Saber Class gets the Return of Refugee X for five Eternal Ices. Return of Refugee X, that looks to be a strengthening quest, probably for X. I will worry about that later. And then the other one was 70 missions, gets us another Bestia del Sol. Unlock it. Unlocks 90 missions completed, which we are very close to getting done. So, our in progress is three of them. Two of them are bounties, Space Cat and King Elichan. We need to complete seven more bounties total for that one. Assassin or Berserker class enemies. They're probably going to be amongst the bounties, maybe. Dark Mana, Secret Fortress, all quests, excluding the challenge missions. So, as far as this goes, 70 and 90 is 160, is 380, is 580, 640, is 840 for 920, is 1120, 1620 Artorium is going to be needed to get all of the bounties available. And then another 200 for a foe. 400 for foes, because why not? So yeah, we are going to be doing a lot of Artorium farming in between this stream and the next. So I think that this is going to be where I call today's stream of Saber Wars 2. I will probably be back maybe Friday to finish off the the various bounties, as well as do the challenge quest. But yeah, it was an amazing story. I am very much enjoyed it, and I look forward to Saber Wars 3, which I'm sure will eventually happen. After all, it's going. it should be hopefully the return of the Sith. Hopefully return of XA. Hopefully. But anyways, I have been Soul Rag Dragon. I hope that you've enjoyed this stream. If you had, leave me some feedback in whichever way you so see fit. If you want to check out more by me, be sure to check out my channel here on Twitch or YouTube. Same name, same games. There's a large variety of content for you to watch. A lot of backed up Fate Grand Order content to enjoy. Be sure to drop me a like if you're watching this on YouTube and a follow if you're on Twitch so you know when I go live. A sub on either or platform would greatly be appreciated as well. So once again, thank you all for coming out. I hope you enjoyed. Have a fantastic evening, everybody.